without further ado, let's. Oh, we got a cockpit. Yo guys, what is up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Happy fucking Monday, boys. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, today I woke up a little bit later than normal. It wasn't that late. It, it was still respectable. But anyway, so I was checking my phone when I woke up, and I saw Weeby post something on Reddit. It said, Bloom, Bloom and Boss. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Check it out. And holy crap, someone made a user-made mission of the Bloom and Voss reconnaissance plane in World War II. To be perfectly exact, it's the Bloom and Voss 141. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. So what this plane is, the Bloom and Voss, is a World War II reconnaissance aircraft uh, that was built in a uh, attempt to win a contract with the German Air Ministry. I would like to pronounce the word, but I really... Yeah, I'll fucking try it. Okay. Reich Soltfacht. <laughs> what the... Ministerium. Anyway, so the uh, German Air Ministry wanted a new <laughs> reconnaissance aircraft that had great visibility um, for the pilot and such. Uh, so this... The Blumen Voss wasn't actually even in the it wasn't given the contract at all or even in the race it was a private attempt at this contract out of the race so it was kind of like a oddball um but the one that they were shooting for was the arado 198 and this one's pretty unique as well or the ar 198 this one has um i think a hollow or well, a glass floor so you can see below them or excuse me, below you. However, the AR-198 never went into production because of the poor flight handling of the plane. Uh, there was only one built, one prototype, I believe. And for some reason, the Bloom, Bloom, Bloom and Voss didn't go into production either. Even though this plane flew very well. And they were surprised it flew very well because the asymmetrical design of this plane. It has the cockpit on the right, and the main fuselage is, well, okay, the engine, oh, it's hard to describe. Um, I think this is the best time to talk about the plane and show you the plane at the same time, okay? So let's go and do that real quick. Uh, User-made missions, okay, there we go. The, B the BV-141. This plane is unreal. Like, how it actually works, it just blows my mind, but here we go, guys. Here comes the, the plane. Oh. Wow, look at the cockpit. It actually works like that. Holy, <gasps> what the fuck? How does this thing work? This thing breaks my brain. Okay, so we have, so here's a Blumenvoss 141. Very beautiful aircraft, very strange aircraft, but I'm in love as well. Um, so I read up a little bit on how this thing stays stable and whatnot. Uh, it has something to do with um, P factor and, and okay, so at high air speeds everything kind of balances out because okay hang on let's see which way the engine turns first. Oh my god, I I kind of understand it with the P factor, the gyroscopic precession, the torque. Oh my gosh, because the engine is spinning right which means that they will need a elevator on the left to be able to balance it out. My mind's kind of blown, but I but I guess it worked out. I really guess it worked out. Um, but, oh my, I don't, that is such a unique design. Look at this, boys. So my bad about this, I forgot to give the creator of this user-made mission and uh, aircraft a shout out. This is by Gracchino, Gracchino underscore UA. Well done, man. I'm sorry I didn't, give, I didn't give you a shout out earlier in the video. But without further ado, let's... Whoa, we got a cockpit. Look at this. User-made mission. It has very poor left visibility, but you know, they look how much you have over here. You can see all below you. Look at that. It kind of puts shame to the Heinkel 111. 
I mean, didn't they on War Thunder Live, or not War Thunder Live, on the dev blog, they were like, yo, we got this new model, but f no cockpits yet, but look at this. So there, it kind of has, um, it kind of feels like I'm in an ME410 a little bit. There's our reticle. Okay, we got 7.62s. Now, I couldn't find any documents of the stated uh, armament that this one had, or that this plane had in general, but we have two, uh oh, hang on a second, I'm going to respawn here. Uh, we have two 7.62 millimeter machine guns just for show, and then we got some bombs. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and bring this thing in the air and see what happens. All right, full power. Beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a... Look at all the cockpits closing, man. That guy has, like, five arms to do that. It kind of reminds me of the Focke Wolf 189 that's coming in later. Ooh, nice little bouncing right there. I like that. Okay. Ooh, ooh, look at... I gotta counter that a little bit. Huh, that's weird. L look how it's flying right now. So we are flying, but it, it, it seems like I'm missing a right elevator. But as you get faster, the plane um, should be able to balance out a lot of the other factors that are happening, happening on it at slower air speeds. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. What a unique aircraft. Okay, so here comes the bombs. It looks like maybe uh, 100 kilograms or... Yeah, that's about it, I think. Not too much at all. Now we've got some planes to kill. we got some ground units. Where are these guys at? I see sun. Ooh, we've got a gladiator. Oh, hey there, guys. Come down with ya, ya. And also in the uh, Blue and Boss uh, 141, we have, we have a damn back gunner. All right, guys. So sorry about that. I actually uh, changed the mode uh, to arcade battles, uh, j just because having this plane in realistic battles versus these guys up here, the gladiators, really isn't that uh, yeah, kind of hard. It it would have been nice if uh, we we could verse like maybe like OS2 U's or something like that, uh, but don't worry. It's it's a good thing because watch watch how maneuverable this thing is on in, in arcade mode. Okay, ready? <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. Okay, so let's give the pilot a brain aneurysm right now. 500 kilometers an hour. Well done. Balance her out. <laughs> oh my! Ready? Cockpit time. Oh my, Lanta! Look at the turn coordinator on top. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, we're on a six now. Die! It's so weird how this gun. Okay, there we go. You gotta remember that the gun is on. It's not. It's not in the center fuselage. It's on the right side. But look at this aiming I got right now. Okay, he's down. Now who's fucking behind me, dude? What are you shooting at, man? You're scaring me. I just. Fi I just got done finishing watching uh, Stranger Things. Don't spook me out like that. Okay, we're gonna test this back gun out real quick. Let's put the flaps. Holy shit! Look at that. Uh, look at. Wow. Look at the damage model we have. We can see inside the wing root here. Or not the wing root, just inside of the wing, and that's all the spars and stuff. We can see through it. Yep. Look at that right there. Beautiful, man. Okay, he's getting close. Let's use it. Take him down. Tango down. Beautiful. Okay, we got another guy coming up. We might have to put a little bit of airspeed on to maintain the plane. Oh, wait. I think we're reloading. No? Okay, you ready? Okay, he's gone for right now. I love that sound effect, man. I think our back gunner is reloading at the current moment. Now we're ready. We got two right behind each other. Give them hell. Yeah, getting that engine all smoky. The primitive uh, AI maneuvers are among us. Yo, man, I fucking love this game, dude. It blows my mind how I can still enjoy a game that I've been playing for four years, dude. 
Just fucking... Oh my god. Okay, so we're trying to bring this gladiator down with us. We need to go repair the plane. We have a ton of damage on the Lumen Voss 141. Alright, you know what, Mama Jamma? Come here. Get on target. Beautiful. Another one's behind us? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, man. Don't, don't do the overkill like that. Okay, we're on, uh, where's, where, where's the runway at? Okay, it's way over here. Let's get going. We're gonna use our ailerons to increase airspeed because, uh, why use one propeller when you can use your plane as a propeller? Here we go. There we go. Now we're going much faster. <laughs> okay, let's start slowing her down. Scratch that, I really want to land without gladiators behind me, so let's take these two guys out. Oh, no, 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 put... Oh, wow, that, that was convenient right there. No, 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 stay afloat. We lost our left wing! Wait, is that right? No, we got a big hole in our left wing! Why does this keep happening to us? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to stay li uh, label <laughs> level while we fly here. You f son of a guns, dude. All I want to do is land my new BV-141. Hey, but we're still flying, though. I think we can go back and land this plane. Just give me a second here. Oh, damn it. I, th I thought we would really be able to. Okay, let's kill these guys real quick. God damn it. Fuck these gladiators. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, there's, a, there, there's one of our teammates at. We might have him here, boys. Beautiful. Okay. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Okay. Now it's time for a landing. Now, hopefully, the mission won't end right now. Okay, let's drop the bombs on our base. Just uh, for, for being a user-made model, man. I'll tell you right now, man. And I'll say man one more time to enforce what I'm trying to say. That damage model is on point. Seriously. Okay, so we're on downwind, almost on base, and then almost on to final. Oh, so cool. I'll try to do as fluent as possible because we're an arcade flight model. No! Press space to continue session. We, we got land in uh, six seconds. We got a long roll out here. I almost bombed myself. I, I had to press spacebar right there. Oh, we're losing lift! Touchdown! Beautiful. <laughs> Look at the flaps. Beautiful landing. Uh, we lost our right elevator there, but I think everything's in order. Hey guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Shout out to Gracchino underscore UA. Thanks for uh, doing this work, man. I suggest if you want some help from uh, the community, uh, it, you know, every little bit helps, dude. Maybe link a PayPal or just some um, a way that we can donate to you. Are we sinking right now? Okay, uh, donate to you just to buy you some time, maybe uh, to do some more work for the community or something like that. But again, man, thank you so much for spending the time to uh, get this stuff off, stuff, stuff, there we go, operational for the users. But guys, until next time, have a great day and peace out.